Hi everybody and welcome to Vlogmas and if you're new to our channel I'm Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British early retirees debt and mortgage free and living a thrifty frugal and money saving life here in Brittany in northwest France and we're bringing you some extra videos for Christmas. We hope that you enjoy them. We might cook, we might make something, we'll share something Christmassy with you. We hope you enjoy the video. So here's the fabric that uh, my friend has given me to make her a table runner and some table mats. And it's really cute. There's little seals and little polar bears on ice. And this kind of matches their kitchen. So that's why they chose this fabric. So there it is, you can see it. It's cute. I would call it a winter decor for the table more than Christmas, but I like it. Not everybody wants a traditional Christmas. Some people like different colors and I'm happy. I'm happy to help. So I'm gonna get this cut out. So there is the top of the placemat and it's so simple to make and I've already made three and I'm going to make the fourth one with you. So this is what I did to make it. I started off by getting a three and a half inch square and a three and a half inch square of both my pale blue and the white and cut them in half. And then I sewed them together and then I cut them down using my ruler until it was two and a half inches by two and a half inches. Then I've got two more two and a half inch white squares I've got a two and a half inch by six and a half inch center, which is the ribbon. And then for the wrapping paper, this is six and a half inches by three and a half inches. And then either side, I've got eight and a half inches by two and a half inches. Top and bottom here, I've got 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half. And again, the side part of it is 12 and a half inches by 12 and a half inches. And I'll show you each bit as I sew it together. And there is the finished placemat. Now, the next thing I have to do is to cut a piece of wadding, or you might call it batting, and backing the same size as this four times. And I'll show you how I put it all together. Show you what I'm going to do next. I have got my backing the right side down, I have got my placemat the right side up, and underneath I have got my wadding or batting, however you call it. I'm going to pin this and sew all the way around and just leave a gap, and then I'll turn it inside out. I have sewn all around the edges. I've left a gap and I'll use that gap to pull it right side out and I'll show you when I've done it. So there I've turned it the right way round and what I shall do is I shall top stitch a quarter of an inch all the way around and that will catch the open part there and sew that up as well. And then I just need to do that four times and I'll have four placemats. With the corners I use the end of a pair of scissors to poke it out but that is the best I can do so 
They're not sharp corners, but I think they're okay. Definitely looks like a Christmas present. Definitely looks like a table mat. When I've done all four, I'll then put a bit of quilting on it. And there it is, all finished, all stitched all the way around. And I've picked out some of the quilting as well. Ta-da! And there are the four finished table mats and the table runner. I'm really pleased with these. I love the Christmas design on it. I love the winter prints on the fabric. They've turned out really well. They really didn't take me long to make. And it's always great to help a friend out at Christmas time when they're a bit too busy and you've got some spare time to help someone else. Thank you so much for watching and happy Vlogmas to everybody. <laughs>